Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Welcome, or welcome back if you've been to our site before. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Today we're on our 10th and last video in our series on ITIL Release and Deployment Management. Please look in the description below. We have links to related playlists. We have quite a few videos on service transition, ITIL service transition, as well as ITIL release and deployment management. This series has been adapted from a BMC white paper. I want to make sure I give them full attribution so when, it, when I disagree, I'm not disagreeing with myself, as awkward as that may be. <laughs> we like to have fun. All right, let's talk. We're talking conclusion about release and deployment management, RDM for short. This is the key in the service transition stage of the ITIL life cycle. This is the mechanism, the main key pivotal mechanism to take what is designed in service design and implement it into production for service operations to support. And so release and deployment and change management are very tethered in this because release and deployment is the mechanism for deployment Change management is the authorization piece. If release and deployment management is not done well, your organization will suffer. I've seen it firsthand in more than one uh, organization. This is why many organizations will choose to implement the process slowly over time to minimize negative impact on the IT organization and its business customers. When release and deployment management is is deployed or is implemented in full fashion initially, it is very difficult for training. It's very difficult for the aligning of resources. I can go on and on, and I don't really want to because I don't want to sound negative. I just want to encourage you, as BMC does, to implement this process slowly over time. Also, this is one of my soapboxes. I apologize for those of you not in the U.S. Soapbox means a platform in which to speak. One of, my, one of my soapboxes is when people, organizations, implement release and deployment management, they take that opportunity to minimize change management. Instead of making them both strong, they, these organizations think for one to be strong, the other has to be weak which nullifies a weak change management process is not able to support your release and deployment process the way it needs to. It's just my soapbox. And I'm open for feedback. Please email me. Leave comments below if you disagree. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube uh, channel. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. And feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Also, I encourage you to check out some of our several hundred other videos. I hope you have a great, great day. Bye.